Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Hello, hello, everybody. We are so excited to be here with you on another Friday. And we are so excited because this is a special edition, a special edition. And you guys know on Sunday, we're going to be celebrating a very special day. Yep. It's going to be Father's Day. So this is kind of like our pre-Father's Day edition. And I'm so excited. I got my daddy with me. I got my daddy with me. Oh, my goodness. And when I tell you, we are so excited to talk about our fathers. You know, so many times we, you know, have no problem in talking about our mothers and celebrating Mother's Day. But it's all about the daddies. It's all about the daddies because we know that they are so important and they play such a a, a crucial role in, in our lives. And so we're excited just to talk about our dads on today. So uh, tell me what's going on in your neck of the woods, Katrina, Katrina. Oh, it's it's getting hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be almost a hundred today. So it's getting oh. hot. <laughs> wow. Yes, but I can't think, can't be in this season without thinking about my father. Of course, I think about him every day, but this is a special time. Yes. What's happening, Gloria? Girl, I, I need to be where you are because I like 100. I like 100. I like 105. I can take sun all day long. It's a sunny, sunny day and there's so much darkness going on around here, but the sunny, sunny, sunny part of it is fabulous. I'm excited to be here in sunny Baltimore right now. Rain's an hour ago. Rain's going to rain a couple of hours. I don't care. I'm with my girlfriends and that's what matters to me. Hi, Daddy Green. Hi, Daddy Green. Sabrina, what's happening down there in North Kakalaki? Oh my goodness, happy Juneteenth, you guys. We are celebrating the dads on Sunday. Today, it's a preempt to dad's day, but today we're excited about Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth, my friends. Happy Juneteenth. Chris said, we're glad to have you and your dad. All of our dads have gone on to be with the Lord, but we're here with Daddy Green, and that's exciting. Well, I am so excited to introduce to all of my FOF girlfriends, my father, my father, you guys, my father is 92 years young, 92 years young, and, and uh, <laughs> he will be turning 93 in October. When I say he is strong, he is strong, he is healthy, and you know, when all of this went down with the pandemic and they were talking about, you know, our elderly, our senior citizens, you know, they were uh, at the highest risk. Of course, you know, he was on lockdown. I told him, I said, now you see how I feel when we were young and we had to be home at a certain time and we couldn't go and you can't go here at a certain time. I said, well, you on lockdown. Now you get to see how we felt when you put us on lockdown. But when I tell you, I'm so excited that my dad is here <laughs> with me on today. He is an awesome, awesome um, man. He has been an awesome dad. You guys, we, I have eight brothers and sisters, eight. So, you know, he has a lot of kids. My dad yeah. does, right? And I just want to share just a few memories of my dad, some that I'll carry with me for the rest of my life that, you know, always brings, you know, a, a smile to my, to my face when I go down memory lane, thinking about my dad and, you know, growing up, it's nothing like having a father in the home. And that's why our hearts go out to so many um, children who, you know, have to grow up um, without a father, because we know that fathers play such a crucial role. And I can just remember being a young girl and you guys can look at my dad and know he was fine, 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 <laughs> fine, 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 right? And so I just remember all of my girlfriends and, you know, as we went to high school and college, they used to say, Chris said, your daddy is fine. Your daddy is fine. <laughs> and back in the day, you know, he wore his big afro and I mean, he was a very spiffy um, dresser and it just made me feel so good to be with my dad because I knew all my girlfriends. I was like, daddy, okay, now they my age, just know they think you fine. And he would just smile. And I just remember I have two siblings that live in California and my dad was married prior to my mom. So I have two um, siblings that live in California, brother and sister, Jackie and Judy. And so what I love that my dad did, he always, when we were old enough and I was probably maybe eight, eight, not eight or nine years old when he would take the entire family because we were all 
in Detroit and they were in Los Angeles and every single year, the highlight, I mean, we couldn't wait for school to be over because my dad would pack up his station wagon. We had a blue station wagon and he would put all of us to this day. I don't know how he fit seven kids and he and my mom, we would jump in the station wagon and it was so many of us. I don't know if you guys remember, he would, we would pack the luggage and he would put it on the top and he would tie it all down and we would be on a road trip out west. And when I tell you, I don't know how he and my mom were able to do that with seven children, all different ages, but every year he would make sure that we drove to California and we would stop in the various states and, you know, he would take us to the Grand Canyon and we went through Las Vegas a couple of times they had to kick us out because we thought we could go and pull the slots but when I tell you it, we have so many amazing memories and he made sure that we had that connection with my brother and my sister that lived in California we would go there and it was the whole family and I promise you that's what a dad does he keeps you connected you know we don't even say that you know I have a half brother or a half sister because that's not the way we were raised and so I, I very seldom even say it because he did such a phenomenal job keeping us together so on this father's day I totally appreciate my dad who was a great um, provider for our family he worked really really hard to make sure that we had everything that we needed so this is my dad I love him dearly he is an amazing man and you know let him tell it I said dad you know how old you are and he always start oh, about 70 I said no a little bit more 80 I said no he said how old am I, I said 92 he said no way I cannot be 92 because I feel too good to be 92. I said, well, you know what? Let those jeans rub <laughs> off on me because I told Kier, when I turn 92, I'm still wearing my heels and I'm still wearing my makeup. She said, well, I'm going to probably have to rub in your, your, your blush a little bit more because you ain't walking around with a bunch of makeup thrown on your face, but it ain't going down like that. I'm going to be like my dad. And so I could go on and on, but I'm going to throw it over to- Can we hear from dad? Does dad Green want to say anything? You've done all the talking, Chris said. He was our guest. We love, love to hear from daddy. Right. Hi, dad. I to say, Sabrina, <laughs> my dad has never been a talker. Even at his 90th birthday, we said, okay, daddy, you know- Chris said, Chris said, let's-, let's, talk, let's, let's talk. He said, I'm going to talk. I'm going to say, Thank you. So, do you want to say anything else, Dad? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, we're talking about dads today. And as you can see, everyone in the house gets excited with the dads. So mama's going to get the dogs. So. <laughs> and so I am so excited, you guys. We're just, uh, we're talking about our fathers and um, I'm popping up a picture of my dad on the screen and um, just so much, so many memories, so many memories. My dad, you know, I was with, um, uh, with, my girlfriends when I found out about the passing of my father and it's just the importance of girlfriends uh, with you and how much my dad loved every one of my girlfriends. It's just so, so juicy good. But one of my favorite memories is, I don't know why this one comes to me, but riding roller coasters. I mean, my dad taught me how to handle fear. And one of the ways he taught me that was as it relates to roller coasters. And he loved to ride roller coasters. And he'd look at me and say, can you handle it? Can you handle it? And then he would just, we had this thing that right before we got on the roller coaster, we'd look at each other and high five and say, this is a piece of cake. You can do it. And he just always, I remember walking down the stairs and this was a dress rehearsal for being on stage. And my dad would say, let me see you walk. You are the greatest. Say it with me. Say it with me. You are the greatest. You can do it. You can do it. He just would instill so much positivity and belief and encourage. And when I fell down, he would was quick to uh, not just let me, you know, negate it. We'd have to reason, talk about what happened, what can you do better? But it, it just, it, there's so many positive memories of my dad. And I definitely want to give a shout out to Anthony's father in uh, in Florida, who is healthy and well and doing well and staying inside, just like Dad Green. So <laughs> yes, I'm so excited. Gloria, 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 showing a picture of Mr. Wait, let me see. Am I unmuted? Muted? Yeah, we got yeah. you. 
Yes, yes. Look at daddy. Look at daddy. Look at daddy, you guys. So good. I'm sitting here listening to all the stories. Girlfriends, I want you to know that my story about my dad is his million dollar smile that he definitely passed to me. And that million dollar smile that he passed to me has been such a favorite part because when people say, Gloria, your smile is so bright. Every time somebody says it, I think immediately of my father. And what I want to say to you guys is that he's what on Juneteenth, I think about the fact that my dad was so powerful when the riots came to Detroit and that he just really got into the streets immediately and that we were very scared, but he just kept saying, we got to do something. We got to do something. So as we deal with the world that we are today, pandemic, he was in the healthcare industry as well as a teacher in healthcare. And then we think about the protests. I know my father would have been all up in it. So it gives me great pride to stand here on Father's Day and think about all the fathers. I want to say that I know each and every one of my girlfriend's dads intimately. I've been in each one of their spaces intimately. It's been so exciting. Every time I see Chris's dad, it gives us great joy that we get to celebrate. I remember Sabrina's father. I remember him walking in real tall, real stern, but funny. Oh my gosh. That was so crazy how funny he was with such a straight face. Oh my God. He put the T's in T. I mean the T and T's for sure. And then Katrina's father. When I tell you he liked to cook for us, he was a cooker for all of us. And so to me as girlfriends, to have experienced everybody's father, I mean, Katrina's father could pick out a dress for me. Forget Katrina. He was, <laughs> he could be the one that would say, oh, he would just, oh, when he was at, his, at her wedding, the way he made all of us feel, you guys. But I also want to speak for just a moment about all the single mothers, because I was a single mother for seven years. And I know what it's like to have, want to have that father figure in there for your children and they're not there the same way you had it and that it can really challenge you in the way that you feel and the way that things happen and you know life is not always easy life is not always straight life is not always a flower it's not always but i just want to be here for all of us to say that whether you're the father as a mother or you're a father as a father we appreciate you we honor you and to all the black men in America right now that we stand up for now. We also want to say how much we appreciate who you are and who you be. But bringing it back to my dad, I just want to say that he was a father in the community. He was a big Eagle Scout in the Boy Scouts. And he was very proud of that because of what he could do to the young boys in the community. He was huge in our church. We were at uh, Grace Church, Episcopal Church in Virginia Park in Detroit. And he was huge about how they could be fathers to the men um, that were coming up in the community. And just, he loved that part. So I was able to watch who he was through who he be and how he taught us as girls, because he only had girls. And he used to say to us all the time, look at yourself before you got the mirror, before you go out, look at yourself in the mirror before you go out, because what you look like represents me. So you better keep it right. So, you know, we love our daddy, Sabrina, Sabrina, your daddy, your daddy, your daddy. Oh my goodness. I love the stories of our daddies. I love looking at Daddy Green. There's my daddy. There's E.L. Goodwin Jr. Oh my goodness. Look at my daddy, you guys. Lost my dad about five years ago and uh, miss him every day of the week. And he taught so much, you guys. I am born and raised from Tulsa, Oklahoma. And you know, all eyes on Tulsa right now. All eyes on Tulsa. All eyes. Um, Juneteenth is today. My daddy really was the family historian. We didn't have Google back then. It was call daddy, call daddy. He knew every fact, every figure, every name, anything we needed, he knew it off the top of his head. When I tell you he was a freedom fighter from way back, he would be right there in those streets of Tulsa, Oklahoma right now fighting for justice. We have the oldest minority newspaper in the state of Oklahoma. Uh, he was just always a man who wanted to tell our story and we have many stories to tell. So hats off to all the dads. Gloria, when I heard you talking about your dad, I saw his, his face, Stratford. You know, that name just makes you stand up straight. I think about Katrina's wonderful dad who was always there for us, fixing all of our computer problems and always so loving. And so we're, we, we've been blessed to have strong, amazing 
men in our lives. Now, we all know that in families, their problems, their issues, there's never always a pretty picture, but my goodness, you guys, as we stand today celebrating the men, especially black men right now, because we are going through a lot. They are uh, racially profiled. Uh, I, I just, we're at a time that we, we haven't seen in our lifetime. Our parents possibly for sure, but we haven't seen this. You know, my sister was on CNN this morning and she's on the ground. She's a state representative there. And you guys, we've got to pray for peace for our city. When I tell you she's telling the stories of tires being slashed right now, I'm telling you the N word is being thrown out as they're walking down the street. And so we have- No, it's Sabrina, tell them your, her name, Regina, how they can find Regina, because they need to look her up because she's so powerful. Yeah, Regina Goodwin, State Representative, Tulsa, Oklahoma, District 74, one of two African-American women um, in, in the house, you guys in Oklahoma. So you can imagine what she goes through on a daily. And so she's fighting for the police to make sure that they're wearing their cameras. She's making sure that there's police reform, but you can imagine it, it, the fight that it is. And so as we celebrate the men in our lives, as we go towards Father's Day, we love them, we lift them, we thank you for your leadership. We know that, that the struggle isn't easy. We know the struggle is real. And so you guys, we could talk about Black Lives Matter and a whole lot, but we know, I'm already saying time's out. They're texting me, your time's up, your time's up. So you know what, we gotta go. But to the dads, we love you. We celebrate you. We lift you up. We do, we do, we do. Make sure you visit our um, website. Make sure you follow us on our page. Make sure you go over to Instagram. You guys, we are a movement that's in motion. Girlfriends matter. Who else has something to say? We got, we got one more thing to say. Am I muted? No, one more thing to say. We all are married to amazing husbands who are amazing dads. So just in one brief statement, I'm just telling you that Ken is amazing dad to four amazing grown kids and five amazing grandchildren. We'll be talking about them later, but we need to say hi to our husband. We do. Our we sure do. Because Kenny just walked by and rolled his eyes at me. Okay, like, okay, okay. So I have an amazing husband. He's a phenomenal dad of our three incredible children. He is the best. God gave me the best for me in terms of choosing a father for my children. So happy Daddy's Day, Kenny. Wow. I have to say that my husband is a phenomenal husband as, and also a phenomenal father to our two children, um, Kiara and Buddy. He is I mean, when I tell you my husband is a community person and, you know, to hear Gloria, you talk about your dad. I mean, it's so great. Um, the lessons that he teaches my children about being there for your community to fight for the community. So I'm so blessed to be married to my husband, who's the pastor of Greater Grace Temple in Detroit, Michigan. So happy Father's Day, Charles. Yes, and discipline, um, structure, love, and uh, a prayer warrior, truly a man of integrity. My husband, Dr. Anthony Earl, he's out walking right now. He's like, with or without you, I'm staying on my return. I mean, he's walking four miles, you know, and in the heat, get excited. And so just love you, love to my husband, five grown children, 14 grandchildren. Yes, those Earls are busy and um, we just love them. From Chicago, amazing man of God um, and uh, just powerful. So he, is ready to travel. So pray for us in this house, okay? Because <laughs> he's it's a happy Father's Day and we're so happy to bring it to you guys. We love you guys and have a happy, happy celebration the entire weekend. Yes, post a picture of your father, post a picture of the men in your life that you love, tag them, tag them. Force Uncle, friendship brother, the grandfather, father, all the meaningful men in your they life. We're celebrating they big. The love. They need the love. Yes. Bye, Bye. girlfriends. Love y'all. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Thank you. Bye.